Whatever I see, I remember yo. If you remember me. Hey guys, welcome to Seven Minutes TV. In this video, I'm going to talk about Capability Maturity Model Integration or CMMI. CMMI measures the maturity of software development process on a scale of one to five. Software Engineering Institute contends that an organization should develop a process model that conforms to the CMMI guidelines. It represents a meta model in two ways, that is, continuous and staged. In continuous way, we are going to define capability levels. That is, a continuous uh, continuous model describes process area in two dimensions. Here, each process area is formally assessed against specific goals and practices, and is rated according to the according to the following capability levels. And other than the other than the specific goals and practices, we are going to even have generic goals and practices. All right. Uh, so the in continuous way in continuous way process area is going to be uh, like build be, uh, like built. Or completed based in four in six levels basically. The first level is going to be the first uh, first level. In the first level, the process area is going to be incomplete. That is, the process area is either not performed or not achieve or, or does not achieve all the goals and objectives defined by the CMMI for level one. And then we are going to have level one, which is known as performed. By here, uh, by the performed level, the process area uh, must be having all the goals being satisfied and work tasks required to produce defined uh, definitive work products. And then we are going to have level two managed. By this process, uh, by this level, the process area is going to be having all level one criteria satisfied, and then work tasks, work products are monitored, controlled, and reviewed. And based on this, we are going to evaluate the process area and. A project is a product or project is going to be completed based on uh, like as an integration of many process areas. That's why we are going to call this as capability maturity model integration, wherein we are going to mature. Uh, uh, sorry, we are going to measure the maturity of each process area defined in a process product based on which we can rate the products itself. All right, and then we are going to have level three defined. All the level two criteria is being satisfied by the process area, and the process area is tailored from organization set of standard processes according to the organization's tailoring guidelines. And then we are going to have the quantitatively managed level, wherein the all the level three criteria are being satisfied, and the process area is controlled using measurement and quantitative assessment. And then we are going to have the optimized level or uh, level five. By this time, all the level four or quantitatively managed uh, level criteria are being satisfied, and process area is adapted and optimized using quantitative means to meet changing customer needs. All right, and CMMI defines each prod uh, process area in terms of specific goals and specific practices to achieve these goals. All right, so now I am going to show them. The specific goal one is to establish estimates. Here we are going to establish estimates based on how much cost is invo is being is going to be involved, or how much uh, like personnel is going to be involved, or how much uh, what is the life cycle. All the estimations are made here about the product, and actually to be accurate, not about the product as a whole, but a process area of a product, right? And then we are going to have this. Uh, to attain these specific goals, we are going to have specific practices. I am just going to brief them up. You can go in detail uh, by watching those points, but okay. And then we are going to have specific goal two, which is to develop a project plan based on the requirements or based on the estimates. We are going to def uh, like to according to those estimates itself. We are going to develop a plan which is necessary to uh, develop a action plan for the. Process area, and based on that, we can implement it and get the desired uh, the desired results. All right, and then we are going to have the specific goal three, which is nothing to uh, nothing but to obtain commitment. It actually means nothing but implementation, the perfect implementation of the uh, laid out design. All right, and then we are going to have generic goals. What are generic goals? In addition to specific goals. And practices CMMI as a continuous model also defines five generic goals and practices. And it not just as in specific goals and practices to attain a specific goal, we are going to have specific practices, right? 
just like that we are to attain a uh, generic goal we are going to have generic practices all right the first generic goal is to achieve all the specific goals it means nothing but the first uh, the first main criteria is to attain all the specific goals in order uh, into uh, than to move into specific uh, generic uh, goals to measure the uh, process area and then we are going to have generic goal 2 where wherein we have to institutionalize a managed process here we, we are going to measure nothing but the stages or levels where uh, i have defined right the uh, level 1 level 0 level 1 level 2 level 3 and level uh, level 4 level 5 level 6 right we are going to institutionalize each of these levels and at an in organizational level we are going to manage those all right that's what is nothing but uh, that's what is necessary goal of a process area all right so generic goal 2 is going to be institutionalizing a managed process and just like just like that we are going to have generic practices to in order to achieve, attain these goals and then we have generic goal to institutionalize a defined process all right that is nothing but level uh, 2 uh, level 3 of ca uh, continu uh, continuous capability model all right then we are going to have generic uh, goal of uh, general goal 4 we have to institutionalize quanti uh, quantitatively managed process and then we are going to have the final goal of institutionalizing an optimized process all right a stage model is nothing but similar to the uh, continuous model but a stage model defines some process areas goals and practices as same as continuous model but the difference is that it defines five maturity levels rather than capability levels you have seen right one zero one two three four five to uh, like that we have total uh, like here also we have this level zero which is going to be incomplete level of the process area but we are going not going to take that into consideration to achieve a maturity level uh, than a capability level see uh, uh, like i've observe the difference between staged model and continuous model the continuous model is going to have continuous uh, sorry capability levels and we have maturity levels here uh, in uh, staged model to achieve a maturity level specific goals and practices associated with the process area is achieved so first uh, in uh, in uh, in a staged model we have to first go with the specific goals we have to make sure that the specific goals are being attained or not and we we pay less attention to generic goals because most of the cases wherever we uh, fulfill all those specific goals we might be even following the generic goals in an indirect way so thanks for watching the video